What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, I still kind of don't like that intro, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Still trying to come up with a new intro. I'm going to keep the what's good part, but after that, I don't know what I'm going to say. But anyways, that's not the point of the video. Uh, the video I'm making today, as you can tell, the problem I have with MCOC. The problem I have is... uh. Having content where you need specific champs to beat. We'll see. Because, honestly, I'm getting bored of just being able to 100% uncollected every month. Don't get me wrong. The rewards are nice and everything. It's nice to get five or six star shards. But, what's the point in getting those shards if you can never get the champ you need to continue and progress in your account? And this is what I mean by that. Story quest, I'm stuck here. I Man, I could go back and try to 100% on all this, but what's the point if I can't continue on in Act 6? Uh, like, what's the point? Like, for example, I don't have a counter to this. I mean, I do. Let me, wait, wait, first of all, let me get it straight. I do have a card. I can use Medusa. But I don't want to use Medusa because of the shock damage I'll be taking. Oh, I can't bring four stars. Forgot. Because I used Medusa before. And uh, I'll show you where I used her before. Actually, let me show you now. Since I got it on my mind before I forget what I was going to say about it. But, uh, I used her before in this Ultron quest. Has the same exact node that, uh, the Mr. Sinister fight has. Which is the EMP modification node. This node right here. Whenever, whenever the attacker gains a buff, the defender gains overclock charge, max 10 stacks. For each charge, the defender deals plus 15% energy damage with each strike. The def defender's special attacks cover all charges into passive shocks, dealing 25% of attack as energy damage. And when I did this fight, I keep in mind, Medusa could shut down robots. When I did this fight, though, I could barely get it down. So I didn't I didn't use her to beat this Ultron, I don't think. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, actually, I did, I think. But it, it cost me a couple of revives and a couple of units to beat him. The problem I have with this Mr. Sinister fight... It's not only just that node. I'm just the shock damage. She's stronger, if I'm not mistaken. Probably the same strength. I don't know. I don't go all the way to there. I don't even try to actually fight him. Because I know I'm not going to be able to do it, really, unless I got units and revives on deck, which I don't, by the way. I got like one level one revive and one level two team revive. That's it. Plus 94 units. So, yeah, I can't just... Uh, spend units to get through this or nothing. But he has these other buffs. Basically, I would need a shock and poison immune champion. I mean, I could probably do it with Medusa, but I just don't want to, honestly, because it'll just cost me too many resources to do it for me personally. And uh, yeah, pretty much I'm, been, I'm waiting to get Warlock for this fight. So I'm stuck here for now. The fights before that was fight, it's not hard at all to me. I don't got a problem with the paths. 
I could take the easiest path on here just to beat it once. Not only that, where I'm stuck at, the, uh, I can't do Labyrinth of Legends at all. So look, let's take a look at Labyrinth of Legends real quick. Who am I going to use for Labyrinth of Legends? I only have Aegon as a three star. That's it. I'm not using a three star for Labyrinth of Legends. Who am I supposed to use? Four star Star Lord? Yeah, I'm not doing that. You know how long that would take and how many units I have to spend? Just a hundred just for one path. I got a five star Star Lord, but he's not awakened. Plus he's not even ranked four. He's ranked two right now, so yeah, that's not an option. So yeah, who am I supposed to use? I'm waiting to get him as a five star because I couldn't awaken him, and I could take him to rank four of my rank up gems. So that's where I'm stuck. But anyways, the uh, the problem I have with talking about is you needing champs to beat certain content when it shouldn't be like that. It should be all skill based. I mean, of course, you need strong champs and whatnot. But at the same time, it should just mostly rely on your skill, which is what most of it is. But when you get to fights like Mr. Sinister or like Labyrinth Legends or let alone Abyss Legends, you can't do anything because you don't have certain champs for you to help you to do it, to get through it, I mean. As far as everybody else that's stuck in like Act 4 and Act 5, you're just going to have to change the way you fight. Because that's what I had to do and I actually 100% of them all. Before I used to take a lot of black damage and I had to change it. Like I got to stop taking black damage and ever since I did, I've gotten... This is what I've gotten ever since I did that. So yeah, pretty much it's my problem with, with this game is you needed certain champs just to be content. Which doesn't make sense to me at all. I understand champs got abilities and whatnot, but at the end of the day, you shouldn't uh, have to rely on like one or two champs just to beat one piece of content. Not even content, just one fight. Like 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 this this champion fight. I don't even know how I'm gonna do with that. I didn't even get there. I'm not worried about that right now. I got Captain America Infinity War. I don't know if he works against that. I got Spider Gwen. I'm sure that could work. I just got to rank up Spider Gwen. But, uh, yeah, plus I'm getting bored of just doing the same monthly EQ. It's not the same one, but I'm just getting bored of doing monthly EQ over and over and over again. And I just would like to start continuing on in Act 6. And I would like to start doing my first initial run of Labyrinth of Legends. So, hopefully, I get Egg on soon and I can start doing Labyrinth. Because if I don't get. If I can't beat this Mr. Sinister fight, and if I can't <coughs> get Egg out for Labyrinth, then I'm basically just going to end up quitting the game. Because what's the point? I just feel like I'm wasting my time. I'm just bored. I'm just getting bored of this game. Doing the same monthly quests over and over and over again. And I keep getting shards just to get champs for that I don't even want to use, don't want to ranked up, or... Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, right now I got I hit a progression wall. I guess you could say. I mean, not really, because I can still do the monthly quest to get stuff and let it add up over time. But that's gonna take long. It'll take me longer to beat other content. And honestly, I don't know if I don't get like Warlock or Aegon or some other champs that I need to beat content. And then there's really no point for me to continue to play this game. I like playing the game, don't get me wrong. There's nothing bad about it. I know people like to complain about the devs and whatnot. I'm not doing that, by the way. I got nothing against the devs. I mean, besides the nerfing things and all that, I can see where people are coming from. But uh, other than that, I, like, I'm not complaining about none of that. 
Because at the end of the day, it's just a mobile game. I'm not emotionally involved in this game. I'm just here to have fun with it. And the reason why I don't get emotionally involved in this game or any other game, because at the end of the day, it's just a game. It's not serious. It's not real life. You're not going to lose anything in real life if this game shuts down. To so anybody says, well, I spent all this money to do all this. And nah, 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 nah. Well, nobody forced you to spend money on it. I mean, it sucks that you, like, if the game were to shut down today, you'd end up losing all that money. See, when it comes to spending, you got to think about it like this. If you're sp going to spend on something, what are you getting in return? Like, are you getting something that you could actually use in the real world? Because to me personally, I got nothing against spenders. If without the spenders, uh, this game wouldn't be around. All I'm saying when it comes to spending is don't regret spending after you spend because one day this game will not be a thing. Like, it's just going to shut down eventually. Nothing lasts forever. Besides a diamond, but this isn't a diamond. This is a mobile game. But, uh, mobile games don't last forever. Video games don't last forever. Unless it's offline and you can play it whenever you want, like on a console or something. But when it comes to a, a, a server-based game like this one, it won't last forever. Just keep that in mind when you spend. Just make sure if you're going to spend that you're not going to regret it later down, in life, later down the road in life. Because at some point in time, this game could very well just end up being shut down. Because Kabam might say, oh, we decided to move our plans to our other new game. Da -da 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 -da. And people get mad at them because they spent all this money. Nobody's forcing you to spend, but that's not the point in this video. I just thought a lot. Just thought I, uh, what you call it? Get that out there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only problem I got is you needing specific champs to beat content. Otherwise, I like this game. I got nothing against it. I got nothing against the devs. Like the whole nerfing things, it doesn't affect me personally. But at the same time, I understand where people are coming from. I see where com their point of view and things. Which, they make valid points. But at the same time, I'm like, eh. If it happens, it happens. It's whatever. I'll just have to use somebody else, I guess. Like, if, champ, if Kabam makes a champ worse than they are, then they should just give all rank down tickets no matter what. Or do something so people can get their stuff back from that champ. Just because they spent all their resources on it, thinking it's going to be good, and the Kabam wants to change them. But other than that, I got nothing against Kabam. You know, people are saying, well, you should because you're stuck. You can't do this. Nah, I don't because it's just a mobile game to me at the end of the game. That's it. I'm not emotionally involved in it. Some of you may be. And I got nothing against it. If that's how you want to be towards mobile games, then go for it. Me personally, though, nah, I'm good on all that. There are plenty of other games in the world that I can play. This is not the only game that's out there. So, it is what it is. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here, you guys. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you enjoy my videos, let alone live streams, whether you enjoyed this video or some other videos. And I got the next music video coming out for the next champ. I'm not going to say who it is. I'm just going to upload it. I finally got them to the level that I want them to. They're at the rank and level that I want them. So five star rank three. And uh, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody.